Well, captain's log and all that kind of good stuff. Welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. We've beamed down to an alternate version of the Earth, but the good news is it's still the future. Maybe the 23rd century, I'm not sure. But I've noticed here in this very industrial, you can probably hear the machinery chewing away behind me, version of the Earth, uh, they drink an alternative version of cola. They have Nuka Cola in this world. I don't really understand that. But um, I thought to myself, well, I happen to have a Nuka Cola bottle opener, and that's really handy for opening these. I'll just show you. If I can do it carefully here. Yeah. You always get a lot of bottle caps as your result, and uh, from what I gather, that's got some value in this world. How is Nuka Cola, by the way? Fizzy. Interesting aftertaste. Whatever. So, I just thought to myself, you know what? At the Vancouver Fan Expo, I managed to get the Star Trek Phaser bottle opener. And I thought, this bottle opener, as nice as it is, it has its flaws. It's locked in one spot. We have to come down into this industrial wasteland area in order to pop a bottle of Nuka-Cola. Uh, you also have to empty out the bottle cap catcher for a while. And I just thought to myself, yeah, let's get the Phaser in keeping with the theme bottle opener i've got a couple of others and i want to do like an a b comparison how is the phaser bottle opener for opening bottles of futuristic cola okay here we are aboard the enterprise now let's try out this phaser bottle opener i'm just going to unbox it here and have a look i actually have my actual phaser standing by and a very futuristic cutter let's just see what comes in the box? How does this thing look? Okay, rather basic. Nothing inside there. Here is the phaser. Oh, wow. Oh my God, that is heavy. Yikes, I was not expecting. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but it's like, it's proper metal. Yikes, among us. Yeah, that is very hefty does it give the weight on here no well suffice to say that is that is a solid heavy piece of metal let's um now let's compare the design to this phaser one set two off to the side yeah the grill is a little smaller obviously the the turn this this thing that allows you to make different setting changes and put it on stun, etc. That doesn't do anything here. This is strictly for looks. And here side by side. This one is completely just blank black all over here. Whereas the um, the original phaser one does have a little metal grill there and some bits underneath. But yeah, I mean it's it's a pretty decent replication of the actual phaser heavy do heavy duty though wow so that is that is going to be interesting let's um let's try cracking open a few more nuka colas hmm now that we've checked out what this thing looks like and it's heft i want to try it out on some of these other bottles i'm curious how the fulcrum action is going to work because it doesn't have much of a handle and what i'm going to do is actually compare the phaser to a couple of other bottle openers i have just the standard garden variety grocery store one which at least has like a good long uh angle handle on it and i've even got a, another novelty one this is a souvenir from a trip i was on it's an old spent casing that's got a little notch cut out of it and i use that occasionally again these have got good handles for like turning purposes you know you can get in there and really lift i have a feeling this is not like there's there's not enough of a handle on that i i could be wrong let's find out so um let's give a nuka cola a standard go with a standard bottle opener sorry for the rattling so this is what it's normally like a little shaky but <laughs> not too bad didn't want it to explode on me there you never know with these uh, post-apocalyptic bottles. So that's, you know, get in there, lift, a-okay. That's fine. Let's try the bot the uh, spent casing bottle. Here we go. This one's a little bit tougher to get into. I, I find this one's easier to work with. 
This one, you kind of got to find the, the right notch because it's a, a hacked piece of metal. But, again, that's fine. That lifting action is A-OK -okay for both of these bottle openers. I don't mind that at all. So that works for those two. Let's try the phaser. I don't think this is going to be very good. Let's find out. Oh. You know what? <laughs> that was actually a lot easier than I expected. You don't really need that much handle. I'm surprised. That actually went very smoothly. I've got one more bottle. Let's try this guy out. And again, just naturally opening it with a bottle. Bottle opener. Yeah. Color me impressed. That is actually A-OK. -okay. I'm really shocked that this bottle opener is on par with these others. Here was me thinking, oh, this is going to be ridiculous. But no, this, this actually works. I'm impressed. So there we go. The Star Trek phaser bottle opener. It does work and it works very well. And I'm going to add that to my repertoire anytime I'm in the future trying to open up a bottle. All right. Well, until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.